Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Bottom of the deck we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies and we are ready so your energies guys the emperor king of cups high priestess your person's energies queen of swords four of cups nine of cups meeting energies nine of swords judgment major arcana focus nine of wands bottom of the deck we have the seven of pentacles which is an energy about patience awaiting even but this man knows that it's just a matter of time before he can reap the benefits and the fruits of the previous labor bottom of the seven of pentacles we have the six of swords leaving behind rough waters which can resonate with the uh, nine of wands i am curious about the judgment guys because i will clarify it um, because it can be an energy about a second chance and you are not the first sign to uh, see the judgment involved in the reading so eight of wands energy of communication cupid's arrows and bottom of the deck seven of swords so guys if it is a second chance um you will have to pay a lot of attention to uh some type of conversation that you can have with an ex in order to understand if you can trust the opportunity to uh, try again so let's keep this in mind for others of you not involved in a reconciliation scenario in the past the stabbed in the back energy uh, resonates with the seven of swords now you know how to spot these type of interactions and you can understand if a new connection is truly an opportunity that you can trust because the focus is on the wounded warrior so a brave man that has gone through the challenges and despite that he has learned quite a lot about himself and about the journey and the defenses are up for protection that's why there is the ability to pay attention to uh, what can happen around you so guys it's a process after all the one that can uh, allow some of you to uh, interact with this person that i am leaning more um, towards the scenario that is about a new connection and basically um, emperor energy is about taking action in a responsible and mature way especially in the love arena because of the king of cups an energy about emotional maturity but there is also a touch of silence because if we follow the consideration that previous interactions were a source of disappointments wounded warrior plus 
the influence of the Seven of Swords, so uh, lies, betrayals, deceits, behaviors that um, were not aimed at the best possible outcome within, for example, a love connection. Feelings are so deep under the surface that quite an effort is necessary in order to bring them up in a way that can allow um, these feelings to be shared and understood properly by a special person. The High Priestess, uh, we can agree an energy about silence, but she speaks only the essentials, even if she knows everything. So at some point, you will have to take action, basically, because of the Emperor, in order to interact with a person that can be extremely brilliant, Queen of Swords energy, but that can be perceived as a little bit uh, distant, kind of out of reach, because we have the Four of Cups, uh, for them and the four of cups tells us the story of a man that uh, is a little bit on his own kind of do not disturb me uh, leave me alone because i am uh, minding my own business but uh, this can be a protective stand and maybe um, it can also be this person that has gone through um, difficult connections before maybe they were hammered and now they have quite an approach that can be even selective uh, in order to recognize if a new interaction can be a source of satisfaction. I would like to say that this combination of energies for some of you is extremely mature, meaning that you can display your serious intentions in a way that can be perceived as a reliable one. You can be in a position of leadership, let's say, um, that can allow you to evaluate the opportunities that can uh, come along in the everyday life so that you can figure out if you can make the best out of them in order to improve your situation. And if you are single, let's say, and you are uh, looking for a new partnership, um, this person will offer you quite a, quite a match when it comes to the uh, communication uh, energy because the Queen of Swords, again, brilliant mind, um, she can express her mind in a precise way, uh, no misunderstandings, extremely straightforward they keep it real at uh, the 100% and this is a plus if I may say uh, in the meeting of the energies guys we have the nine of swords that can be about doubts for example outdated thinking um, conditioning replaying events over in your head it can even be a reminiscing type of energy if we resonate with the seven of swords that we have seen but after all there was also the six of swords involved so leaving behind rough waters so that we can move towards scenarios that can be more in alignment with wishes and desires this is a mindset that uh, does not allow us to think things straight i am not concerned with um, you guys because there is clarity thanks to the a priestess if this is a mindset that was about this person they have the potential to overcome it thanks to the queen of swords even more clarity will come because of the judgment that is related to the eight of wands uh, an energy of communication cupid's arrows arrows of love we share words and feelings that are meaningful and this can be even a surprise meaning that an interaction that can even be some type of long time coming for the two of you maybe for different reasons but um, this is the feeling basically it can be a surprise and the judgment is a divine truth offered to those that are open to receive it this can be a major realization that a connection can have uh, quite a lot of potential because there is a trust there is truth there is clarity and the willingness to take action in favor of a um, new connection that can be a source of satisfaction. The Nine of Cups is one of the uh, wish granted cards. So this is a process. I just want to say that, uh, again, 
if it is a matter of a uh, second chance for some of you, you are the one that can be in a position of looking at the situation. This person may have been a little bit out of reach. They are the one that can offer you a precise communication. The decision is yours because of the emperor. It's a final call, allow me to say, that can go with the judgment. But in order to embrace this second chance, considering the stabbed in the back energy and the seven of swords one, uh, this is a major talk. We are going to address all the issues. So guys, let's pull some oracle cards for guidance, considering these energies. Let's see what we can discover. Clean it up, which makes sense in the second uh, chance type of scenario, allow me to say, it's about clearing the air. Um, but this can also be a process uh, if we resonate with the fact that um, some of you or some of these persons are living behind a previous situation that uh, didn't work. Breathe goes with the priestess. Quiet moment in order to think things straight. Blessed energy resonates with the uh, nine of cups a satisfaction it can even be a satisfaction in a second chance but we need we need extreme clarity in that scenario um, it's more about something that we can achieve in a brand new connection that can uh, truly be um, a different type of opportunity And in that case, the new opportunity, this person maybe uh, can be a little bit uh, closed off, so a touch of patience can, can be helpful. Get more information. Um, this can be helpful in the two scenarios, new connection or second chance. Look for a sign it can be the opportunity to interact with each other. It can be the opportunity to share uh, a talk, a conversation that can allow us to uh, figure out um, something important, basically. The situation will improve. Well, if we consider the Nine of Swords and kind of the Four of Cups and the uh, Nine of Wands, um, we are at the very least, looking at a progression that can be promising in favor of a new connection. And again, guys, if you are considering a second chance, the best possible approach can be the one to embrace a conversation that can allow you and your person to address all the issues. And then there is a major call. Uh, either we try again or we uh, choose a new direction, basically. But um, it all comes down to the awareness that can be associated uh, both to the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. And the judgment can be the opportunity to uh, embrace some type of clarity that can be in favor of the movement forward, that can even be successful. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.